Hey guys, welcome back to Alcoin Freedom. I hope you're having a great Friday and a good start to your weekend. In this picture, you're looking at Kalagamum, a little island in the Philippines. Beautiful vacation spot. I hope to get back there. Uh, if you're from the Philippines watching these videos, let us know if you've been here or if uh, you know any good spots around there. Other people, other viewers can check out if they're planning trips to the Philippines. Now, we're seeing a lot of good things in the market today, guys, right? A uh, little spike in price. Things are in the green. That's good. You know the news, Coinbase. If you don't know the news at Coinbase, it's pretty close, done with a lot of tests on Ethereum Classic, going to be listing that, right? But not on the... Um, Basically, there's two sides to Coinbase, okay? So one's, you know, the pro in Prime, which eventually, which will be on first, but then get to the regular investors on the regular Coinbase that we do know of that most investors use a little later that will bring a lot of money in. That should be in a week or two. But good news there, you're seeing a little spike price in Ethereum Classic if you're into Ethereum Classic. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about XRP, guys, and there was some interesting news that we should touch on right now that... SBI, right? We know there was a lot of promotion and adoption of XRP. So we've seen a little bump in the price of XRP because of this promotion and adoption from SBI. And there also was some more news at a Coinbase for Coinbase Custody that they're exploring adding a lot of cryptocurrencies and XRP is one of them. So that's interesting too. Now we know the price of XRP has been increasing over the last couple of days, right? And this increase is Basically, a lot of people are saying attributed to SBI's testing of Ripple's X Rapid and the release of a report that came out that was really, really bullish for XRP. And if you don't know, guys, XRP right um, needs X Rapid to go live soon. We were all waiting for that, right? And that's going to help um, you know the price move a lot. But X Rapid's the payment processor designed specifically for corporations, right, and large financial institutions who want to maximize their liquidity. And then X Rapid will be one of the products that um, you know Ripple's using that's going to use XRP for the cross-border transactions actions as their base currency. So we're seeing a little bit of increase here, guys, because of SBI holdings. You know, they're a huge Japanese conglomerate and, you know, they've taken a really strong interest in cryptocurrency. We know Japan is a very crypto friendly country. So a lot of crypto users over there in that market, but they're making large investments. SBI is making large investments across the board, guys. And um, Ripple, the company, has really been able to enter the Japanese market there. And it's the biggest Forex market or among, among the biggest Forex markets in the world. So there's a lot of money moving around in Japan. And, you know, this partnering, this partnership they're making with SBI and they're trialing, you know, X Rapid because X Rapid is showing them that they can save 40 to 70 percent on cross border fees. So it's very good, very enticing for these people. So that are trying to use X Rapid to see what it can do. But we know, guys, as of a couple days ago on the first of the yen and the Korean won, right? We saw a few new trading pairs matching up with XRP there. And there was XRP and there was a lot of spike in the volume and prices there. So hopefully the price of XRP can continue to see a little boost here. At least we're holding strong. Even when Bitcoin was going down, you know, XRP wasn't really affected there, right? Last little while it's been holding its own. So, you know, SBI's also put out a holdings financial report that was released that showed a little bit of insights and it showed that they're also building their own asset ecosystem and they're expanding on all fronts and they listed ripple under one of the remittances you know they're sort of doing a lot of partnerships with that company and if uh, ripple the company is going to be using a lot of sbi holdings business ventures it could be good for x uh, xrp the currency later on with x rapid so probably the guys everyone's saying the biggest news from this report is that western union moneygram and cambridge fx are also promoting xrp for remittances so that should be just huge exposure for xrp but it leads us back to know this SBI holdings report was incredibly bullish. Okay, so there's going to be more more details on that as we go. But these relationships with XRP and the research center are very, very good. So SBI holdings is a huge financial firm and having them back XRP on multiple levels is very good news. And this is probably a good indication for Ripple, the company, right? You know, they've had some time, difficult times in the West, getting on the Western exchanges and some lawsuits and things like that. But, you know, having a little bit of, you know, issues not getting on Coinbase right now, some people do still consider that a major, major move for XRP. But, you know, they've been forced to enter the Indian markets, Japanese markets. Um, they're continuing to get increased exposure. So that's what XRP needs. They need, they're going to survive based on the partnerships and the need that Ripple, the company, can make right, for the use of their products and the products that will be using XRP. So ultimately, that's great news. If the Ripple, the company, people seem to want to differentiate. We know there's the company Ripple, there's the currency XRP, but XRP will thrive based on what Ripple, the company is able to do for it, right, the demand it's able to create for it. So that's pretty good news there, guys. 
And we know SBI Remit launched the first remittance service using X Current. So that's another product of Ripple using. They're doing that with Thailand's SCB. And SBI also recently launched the world's first bank backed cryptocurrency exchange, VC Trade, in Japan. Okay. And X Current's an enterprise solution for those banks and to help them settle their cross border payments. So that's good news again out of Ripple, the company anyway, which ultimately will help XRP, right? As they're making the partnerships and the products that use XRP get out there, that will be good news for XRP. Now we know American Express is also official using X current okay and on July 31st a couple of days back that same day the SBI report was released there was a new crypto exchange DCX announced they're going to be using XRP as an exclusive base currency so that's very good news for XRP the currency now let's jump over here guys and talk about some news out of coinbase coinbase custody is going to explore many many cryptos about 37 of them I've read in an article and XRP was in there so let's see coinbase has revealed a long list of 37 cryptocurrencies that it's considering for coinbase custody custody, including Ripple's XRP. So there's a ton of coins on there, guys. We can get into them all, but there's 37 coins. The important one for this video is XRP is on there. Now, Coinbase says it may also add a number of undisclosed ERC-20 tokens. Now, if you don't know, Coinbase Custody is a custodial service for institutional investors, right? So that's going to help the institutional money pour in. Those are the investors with big, big money, and it's designed to give the clients a highly secure way to storage their large amounts of cryptocurrency, because that's why a lot of the money is still sitting on the sidelines, because they don't, you know, the market and the industry and everything isn't really safe and secure yet. Okay. And we talk about that a lot on the channel. Safety is number one, even for all of us, like, you know, regular Joe, private investors, safety is number one, no matter how much uh, crypto we have right now in the future, it could be worth a pile. So I hear people now, sometimes guys, a little side note here. I always hear a lot of people say, oh, even if you only have a hundred dollars or $200 in crypto right now, I just leave it here or there on exchange. Don't worry about it. But remember, that hundred or two hundred dollars, if you're in the right project, a couple years down the road, that that could be a ton of money. So you do want to protect it. Now, getting back to the article, guys. According to Coinbase, any cryptocurrency additions made on Coinbase custody have no bearing. So this is what we need to know. Just this news shouldn't cause a rampant need for the price to increase, right? People don't need to be thinking, oh, this should make the price go up, like Coinbase news. But they're telling us it has no bearing on whether they're going to be added to any of the other Coinbase products. So here's a quote: Coinbase custody is exploring the addition of many existing and forthcoming crypto assets for storage only and we'll be working to add them quickly and safely as possible. At this time, we have not yet considered these assets for trading. So we're making this announcement internally at Coinbase and to the public at the same time to remain transparent with our customers and about support for future assets. So Coinbase says it will provide official updates on which coins will be added via Twitter. So we'll keep our eye on that. We know now there was some news about Ethereum Classic, guys. So that's something to, if you're into Ethereum Classic, you saw a little bit of a bump today. But let me know, guys, what you're thinking about XRP. Good news ahead. And what did you think recently about, you know, when Bitcoin was down, XRP wasn't really falling. So hopefully that's showing a little bit of strength and bottoming out of XRP, where a lot of people aren't willing to sell their XRP right now, no matter what. Okay, so they're waiting for these good times ahead or some good news to break that could really move the price so that's something interesting to see these days but i hope you guys have a great weekend guys leave me a comment there um, let me know what you think about xrp moving forward in the next couple of weeks now if you are a long time you know viewer of our videos i'm gonna say goodbye and wish you a very great weekend here guys but if you're new to crypto i'm gonna give you our safety advice because remember this isn't financial advice on these youtube videos right we're not financial advisors but a little bit of safety advice I will give you. I give to everyone because I don't want to see anyone else lose any more crypto. I've seen a lot of people lose their crypto. So we're going to have a little safety tip here for you that's going to help you secure your crypto and all your investment and money for you and your family for the future. The most important thing you can do right now if you haven't done it, guys, and this will help you first and then help the old crypto, the whole crypto space in general. You'll be a big solution to that as well. Let's, let's one person at a time. So in all these videos, one person at a time. I hope we always reach one person, at least one person. Get yourself an offline hardware wallet and secure your crypto, okay? Because you don't want to be another person who lost their crypto to all those hacks, the billions of dollars we've lost, the billions and billions. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazier in the future, guys, as crypto gets even more popular, right? There's going to be more hacks, more things going on, more people looking and searching for people's crypto. So just be smart. Get that hardware wallet. It's such it's such an unbelievably good investment and a small price to pay if you're investing hundreds or thousands of dollars you can secure it for the future because these prices of these projects today guys in a couple of years you're not going to want to have lost those coins okay and not being able to capitalize on all that wealth you've built up over the years i have some friends like we said in other videos who back in the day when it wasn't so easy to secure your crypto have lost crypto okay and when they see the prices of those coins today it's just gut-wrenching so don't don't be another victim and that's why this message is important, guys. And if you have family or friends that are new to crypto or anyone at work you're telling about crypto or you have some new crypto uh, 
family uh, enthusiasts there that are trying to get on the bandwagon with you about crypto and they're interested, try to educate them too about right off the bat. I always like to do that too. Is I've actually, some of my friends and family, you know, I've given the hardware wallets to them if I've ever helped them get into crypto just so they start off very safe right off the bat. And I personally, I like to use two hardware wallets. So some of you have been mentioning that you use two or three as well. Like, you know, I have one for long term. I hold my coins in crypto I'm not going to touch for a while. It's safe, put away in a safe place. Nothing will ever happen to that. And I keep a hardware wallet with me because I like to use that every day to make some, you know, trades and different things I want to do with that. So you guys can do that too. But just make sure your family and friends and you particularly are safe with your crypto, guys, and educate everybody you can because that'll help us when the whole crypto space is safer. There's less stories about people losing crypto. The outside people will feel more safer, right, investing in crypto. And the market cap will go up for all of us. And our prices will go up in our projects, so it's a win-win. But just don't wait till it's too late, guys, because a lot of people, you know, I have friends too that think, oh, someday I'll, you know, someday I'll get on that. But, you know, you never know what day you're going to check out your exchange or your online wallets there on your computer and see nothing in them. So don't, don't wait until it's too late. Protect them. And you have to get them. A lot of people don't know, guys. You have to get your hardware wallets from the manufacturer. Don't don't be another one of those victims. And you hear the horror stories of people trying to get them on eBay or other websites where they've been tampered with and you lose your crypto as soon as you use your offline hardware wallet. So only get them from the manufacturer. And if you don't know where, um, to make it really easy, we put a link in the description below. So you can just go check it out anyway, see, um, see what it's all about, and grab one of those hardware wallets for yourself and protect your crypto. It's so definitely in this bearish market now. And just in general, in any market, is probably the best investment you can make because none of these prices matter in the future if you lose your crypto. Okay, so just get it safe for yourself so you can sleep good at night. All right, guys, if you could give the video a like, I always appreciate that. You guys are helping us out a lot with our videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't so you don't miss any of our videos as they come out. You might find out in the next couple of days some projects we're talking about that you're interested in too or you might learn about one you want to check out and also it's a great way if you're subscribed you can contact us and get in touch with any questions and we can stay in touch really easy that way so that's a great thing too guys and i hope you have a great day the rest of the day wherever you are around the world and let me know where you are too because I hopefully maybe i could send some messages out to some of you guys who are subscribed when we hit the road and we can meet up for some coffee or lunch sometime and talk crypto in your city okay guys take care and i will see you soon bye bye